Son, it wasn't no more than I turned the camera off. And Gus has done hooked one. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Stay in the boat. Stay in the boat. It's pulling the boat around. It's pulling the boat around. Keep it like Holy cow! Holy giant! Oh my god! Holy giant! Yeah, baby, yeah! <gasps> <gasps> Holy giant! <gasps> yeah! Holy giant! Holy giant! I just turned the camera off. Dude. I'm talking about. Do you think that thing's six pounds? Man, we about to find out. Yes, baby, yes! My biggest bass was five eight. Five eight, baby. This is over five. This one's over five. Yeah, baby, yeah! My gosh. What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> This is six pounder, dude. Yes, baby, yes, yes, yes. God said, "Let me." I'm about to fish that thing. Look. How big is he? Look. Six pounds eight ounces. Yeah, baby, yeah. Yes. Look. Yes. Look. Did I beat you? Uh, uh I got six fourteen. Look. Yeah. Six pounds, eight ounces. Gus. Yes. That's Gus's biggest bass. Giant. Oh, my gosh. oh, I'm still going. I almost beat my dad. What's going on, everybody? Hey, Gus and I just got off the water, had an epic day we caught two large heads over six pound gus caught his personal bass that's gus's a six bass. pound eight ounce large mouth bass Damn. and uh i ended up catching one over six pounds as well six pound oh, one ounce oh my. we had oh our my five God. bass was over 23 pounds oh. it was just an awesome awesome day pounders. and what did we catch them on we caught them on the jig Yes, that right there is a Dirty Jigs football head with a big bite Yo Mama creature bait as a trailer on it right there. That is the definite watermelon color, half ounce, 15 pound fluorocarbon with a watermelon Yo Mama creature bait on it. And that is a bigger presentation. I mean, that is a chunk right there um which was awesome to be able to catch those big large mouth on that bait and so yes that was the combo right there the real is a shimano corrado 70 xg 8 to 3 1 gear ratio so it's really fast and this is a nrx g luna seven foot three inches fast medium heavy this is an awesome, awesome rod, awesome setup. It's really light. Gus is seven years old, right? He's right at 50 pounds. So, I mean, it's good to have a setup like this. So, he's got a sensitive rod. He can feel it. Crank down, eight to three gears ratio. Get that line tight and get as much hook set as he can on it. Hey, he caught a six pound, eight ounce fish. So, I'm not gonna argue with this setup. It's 20 pound braid. I put 20 pound braid on this so he can cast it farther, so it's more sensitive, and 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. You know, most people don't do braid to fluorocarbon, but I do, and that's the leader knot right there, and I tie a modified blood knot. I learned that knot from Tactical Bassin. It's a great, great knot. I use it all the time. It's really simple, and you can see if you do it right. But jig fishing is one of my favorite. After Gus, I caught two on this. He picked up this rod. 
started throwing it, and I tied on this jig. This is what I had in my tackle box. It was the pitching jig right there, the dirty jigs, definite watermelon pitching jig. And this is a good all-around jig for all structures, grass, rocks, wood, whatever. And I had the Rage Crawl. Uh, this is the blue swirl, I think. Green pumpkin blue swirl. Rage Crawl. Paired that up. Caught them on that as well. This right here, this is your budget rod, right? This is a loose uh, mop speed stick pitching rod. 7.4 heavy action fast taper. Uh, this wind grip's worn out. I've ordered one. It's already on the way. I'm going to replace it. And this is the Shimano Corrado K200. Love this reel. I think I got a 50-pound braid on it to 15-pound fluorocarbon. That was the setup for that one. And uh, it was an awesome day. Awesome day. But now, I want to talk to you guys about some tricks that I do jig fishing. And some things that I try different, you know, I fish a lot of clear water. I grew up at Smith Lake, and so uh, I've got a lot of 3 8 ounce jigs in my jig box, right? I've got a lot of uh, half ounce jigs in my jig box, and that is the uh, predominant weights that I throw, right? I do have some ounce, I do have some three quarter ounce, you know, when I go river fishing. But uh, I don't throw those very often. So, uh, all right, let's talk about some things I do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to rig one up right here. And this might be a uh, three-quarter ounce head. It is, but that'll be okay for demonstration purposes. So, here is, this looks like a green pumpkin blue swirl skirt. Right, I usually order my skirts, you know, you, you whatever company. Uh, I think sometimes I get mine from Z-Man. They seem to have uh, a lot of the colors I like. But, all right, there that one is. Looks pretty good. But you see all this on the weed guard? All right, that is a lot of weed guard there. And all weed guards are different. And I'll show you some here. But what I like to do, that's a little long for me, is I'll take this weed guard and I'll just cut a little bit of it off right there. And I'm making a mess. It's flying everywhere here in the garage. It ain't gonna matter. So look, just like that. And the 3 8 ounce and the half ounce, if it's a thick, big weed guard, a lot of times I'll take two or three strands like this and bend them up. All right, I got four and I'll just cut some of them off, okay? This just makes it a little less bulky and a little less stiff so that when the fish grabs it, there's not a lot, lot there poking them and things like that. You know, that's just what I like. So here's one, here's like a 3 8 ounce jig and see how that is just a clean profile, right? That's the Dirty Jigs HP football head, peanut butter and jelly paired with a green pumpkin Zoom twin tail grub. That twin tail grub right there, that's your all around jig trailer. If you just wanna buy one, buy a twin tail grub. Throw it all year long, okay? Me, I like to experiment. It's fun to experiment. It's fun to buy a tackle. I buy a lot of tackle and I experiment with different trailers. And um, so that's just me. But if you want to buy one, get the double tail grub, all right? The twin tail Fat Albert grub, right there they are. I think Gary Yamayato makes one as well. So that's the first thing I usually do is trim the weed guard. Now you can take this skirt and a lot of times, if, if you want to match it up with a certain trailer, okay, like the twin tails, because there's all different types of size of trailers, sizes of trailers. You can get a three inch, you can get a four inch, you can get a five inch, okay? A lot of times the rage crawl, if you look at these rage crawls, 
I cut that top little thing, the first little rib on it, I cut it off. That seems to be like the perfect size when, I'm, when I pair those rage crawls up. All right. Uh, on that Yo Mama, I didn't cut anything off because I wanted a long, bigger, bulkier presentation today when we went fishing. So that's one thing you can experiment with. And a lot of times, so let's just say I'm going to go with the Yo Mama. I'll stick it up there to where it's going to stop at the butt and look to see where my skirt's going to fall. Okay, now that looks good right there. It falls right there at the head. So I wouldn't trim any skirt off if I wanted this bigger, bulkier presentation with this creature bait. I'm just going to leave it like this, put it on. Hey, go catch a six pounder. All right. But if I want a smaller presentation, just like I did with this 3 8 ounce jig, you can see, see that the skirt is not that long. When I so I put so I trimmed it. I just took my scissors, choop, 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 like that, just cut a little bit off. Okay? And that's what you want to do on some of your uh, jigs with whatever trailer you want to match it up with, especially if you're targeting small mouth or spotted bass, like I do. And so I trim a lot of my 3 8 ounce jig heads, jig, oh, this one hasn't been trimmed. I need to trim it, because that's a 3 8 ounce. So this is perfect right here. So I'll just show you. I'll go ahead and pair this one up right here with the twin tail. Wait a second. That's not a twin tail. That's... Son, I done thought Tackle Warehouse sent me the twin tail. And that's a regular old fat Albert grub. Well, all right. I don't have a trailer up here I want to put on this joker. But anyway, let's trim this skirt just to show y'all right here. Just like that. Not much, eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, something like that. And yes, I always like to do a little V. And it's sometimes you want, you can even take the back right here and trim the head if you want that flare up in the back. You know, some jigs already come like that. But also that gives it a little more flare. So as soon as it hits down there in the bottom and stops, those, those legs are gonna move. That's that secondary action you want. That bass will boom, come up there and pop it. But all right, the main reason I like to experiment with bigger trailers and bigger line is to slow the fall rate down on the jig, okay? If I, when I'm throwing a 3 8 ounce jig, usually I'm throwing 10 pound to 12 pound fluorocarbon. Sometimes I might bump it up to 15 pound. It's according to the water clarity. It's according to what type of fish I'm targeting. If I'm targeting bigger fish, I usually want bigger line. But also, if I throw this 3 8 ounce jig on 15 pound fluorocarbon, it's gonna fall a lot slower than if I throw 10 pound fluorocarbon. Same way across the board, all right? Half ounce jig, I usually throw 15 to 17 pound fluorocarbon. If I want it to fall slower, I'm gonna throw 20 pound fluorocarbon. If I want it to fall really slow, I'm gonna take this Jean LaRue Biffle Bug, all right? Let's see where the hook comes out. I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna thread this thing on here, just like so, get it around the center. And I'm gonna tell you something too. Don't be scared to throw lighter bellies, sartreuse bellies, light blues, even white. Ot Defoe, I saw him one time talking about his jig. He's got white uh, legs on his jig, on a black and blue, white legs with a green pumpkin trailer. And he says that lighter belly, that contrast, he gets a lot of bites. So don't be scared to throw a lighter belly. If you look at a crawl, if you see one spit up, a lot of times it has a lighter belly. But look, 
that looks good right there and with that bigger trailer on there it's going to fall a lot slower than it is with a smaller trailer and so that's what you want to try man that looks good right there i'm gonna have to throw that one but hey there it is love the jig fishing you guys get out there hey it's december the water temperature is about 60 degrees if they're not biting your reaction baits your crank baits your alabama rig your swim baits hey have a jig tied on throw it out there you never know gus that was kind of our last resort today and we threw the jig and caught two over six pounds it was phenomenal epic epic day hope you guys enjoyed it subscribe to the channel click the notification symbol join us next time on real life with lucas black Ow!